Okay, so here I am on a browser. I'm going to put NCBI. And if I put NCBI, the very first hit that comes up is National Center for Biotechnology Information. I can click on that and it brings us to this uh, web page. And there's lots of different things that be, can be done from this web page, but this is the, the, the main repository for all of this DNA information that's being databased um, from all organisms across the entire planet. So let's come back to our sushi. If I have taken that sushi sample and I go in and do you know, the PCR across a certain segment of gene and then I submit that to a DNA sequencing center where the laser reads it and I get back this chromatograph with the letter by letter DNA code, I could take that DNA code that I just read off of the sequencer and I could compare it to all other known sequences. And the way that I do that is using one of the tools that's available on NCBI called BLAST. So notice I'm going to click over here where it says BLAST. And I could have even just put NCBI BLAST in Google and it would have came up. So then you get this uh, page here. And this page has a bunch of different options. The one that we're going to be doing is a nucleotide BLAST because I sequenced DNA nucleotides and so I want to compare nucleotides to the DNA database of all of the other nucleotides. So I click on nucleotide BLAST. And notice now it has a place where I can enter in the uh, sequences. Now, what sequence are we going to use? So I'm going to come back over here. Here is a text file that I got off of the from the DNA that you get that you know that you supposedly gave me of the fish of the sushi that you were eating that's that's in question. So I can go in and highlight just the DNA, copy it, and paste it now into this um, box. And then all, you can leave everything else on the default value and, uh, and then just click Blast. And so what this is doing now is it's taking that sequence, it's now submitting it to a program, an algorithm, that is comparing that sequence to every other known sequence. Okay, So every, anything that is the most similar is going to be the highest on this, on this list that comes up, and things that are less similar wouldn't have been um, found. And so I, it's now done. Once you get this, this screen view, it's done. And I can scroll down, and I can look and say, ah, OK, I am looking at the most similar DNA. And in fact, it was 100% identical, was coming from Oreochromus aureus. And then it has an X, Oreochromus nilo. Uh, niloticus. So th this is a hybrid. That little X means hybrid. But if, if you even just keep looking down, it looks like most of the rest of them are niloticus. So this is clearly um, either a niloticus or a niloticus hybrid. Well, what is that? What is a nilo uh, uh, niloticus? Well, as with all things, I could just copy the um, those, those uh, text terms, open up a new Google browser, paste those in, and see what this is. In fact, maybe I'll just do it for Niloticus, right? And paste that in, and what is it? Ah, this is the Nile tilapia. So that was not, you know, bluefin tuna that you were given in the restaurant. Rather, it's this, Nilo this Nile tilapia, right? Um, if it were, let's say that maybe you went to another restaurant and, and you thought that you had sushi. So we'll, we'll maybe grab this other sample here from a second restaurant that you went to and come back to do a blast search. So I just, I can, you can either go back or start over again, but I'm coming back here, do another blast search with this second DNA sample. Again, it only takes a few seconds. Quite amazing how quick these searches can actually be done. And here now we come up, ah, this one does match to a different species called Tunis thynus. So I'm going to grab that species name, put that into Google. And that one actually does give me the Atlantic bluefin tuna, right? Go to the Wikipedia page, because Wikipedia is always right. And so here's the Atlantic bluefin tuna. And uh, that's this, and so that would have been, you know, the right species. There you were eating the sushi that you expected you were eating. Okay, so that's how you do a blast search, um, and you know you will be expected to do something similar like this, where you're able to use a DNA sequence, go to this web source, 
um, input the date, find the right resource, input your your sequence, and then see what is the resulting, um, you know, what is the resulting most most similar species to the DNA sequence that you have. So, what species of fish then were you eating? Well, the, at the first restaurant you were eating a, a tilapia, and at the second restaurant you finally were eating a bluefin tuna, right? And this is how you can figure these things out. And it's something as simple as just using DNA to compare against all known DNA. You can actually figure these things out quite easily. And this is what's being done for lots and lots of different uses in bioinformatics. Um, and we've shown you just one tool of bioinformatics, the BLAST tool today, and how we sequence DNA.